Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> it's been a really long day. Um, yeah, so uh, it's 12 hours from where we are in Louisville, Colorado, all the way to the Mason House Inn in Bentonsport, Iowa. So that's a good 12 hour day. So we are just trying to relax a little bit. Um, we stopped off here in uh, where Cedar Rapids, right? Uh, Council, Council, Council Bluffs. Bluffs. Oh my God, I totally screwed that up. Council Bluffs, that's where we are. <laughs> And uh, we're probably going to be taking off at about 8 o'clock tomorrow, something like that, to hit the road and actually get out there and, and uh, make it the rest of the way. So we got a good four-hour drive in the morning. But tomorrow event is going to be insane. i got to tell you guys, those of you who are coming to this event, I promise you will not be disappointed. Um, worked on this presentation forever, <laughs> sorted through two of our most insane cases. Um, I mean, the evidence, and, and I, I'm not at all bragging here, but the evidence that we collected from these two things with the help of a lot of our students, let me be clear about that, um, and the owners of a couple of these properties, it's incredible stuff, guys. It's uh, When I went through the EVP for the second case that we're going to talk about, I had to sort through over at least a 1,000 great, incredible EVPs that came through um, over the ghost box and and also, video. and also video and pictures and all this stuff and was finally able to yesterday kind of got a light bulb over my head that came on and said hey um, this is how it's supposed to go and I was able to kind of put together the whole story and, and today did a review of it in the car mm -hmm. I have to state mom mom was reviewing I was just kind of the witness I was driving so I promise I was looking at the road at least most of the time um, but, uh, yeah, it, it's really emotional. It's really cool. I'm really happy for the people who are going to be at the Mason House tomorrow and get to experience this for the first time, kind of along with us at the same time. Um, but uh, we're going to fine-tune the presentation a little bit, obviously, over time, uh, make it even better, and uh, hopefully bring it to a lot of different locations for Ghost Hunter Universities with the Ghost Box Paranormal Society crew. Um, and then uh, Mom and I will be uh, on the road uh, debuting it in a couple of campuses this year and uh, we're gonna have to be careful what campuses we take this one to um, I don't think this presentation is going to do very well at the Catholic schools at least with the administration so um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick with the schools that might be just a little bit more liberal um, and not completely freak out with some of the stuff that comes through but anyway um, I have chatted long enough I'm really excited to get there love the Mason house oh hey Kay what's going on how you doing got Melanie, got Kay. Um, good to see you. Hi. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do a flip here and kind of show everybody in the room, um, which again, I guess we're going to have to get a sponsorship from Quality Inn or something because it seems like that's where we stay now, at the Quality Inn. Um, you can send us our free rooms. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to flip this. Here we go. And there is the great Mama Moon. Hi, Mama Moon. Hi, everybody. Uh, yes, she looks a little tired, but she's going to have her energy together for tomorrow. Everything's going to be okay. We're, we're, we're going to survive this. Um, and, oh, for those who didn't know, it's, we've turned it into a one-day event, so it's just going to be Saturday, which is kind of weird. Um, but one of the owners of the uh, Mason House, Chuck, um, his son is graduating. Is, yeah, he's graduating uh, from the military academy. I don't want to get too detailed about it. And, and he's not going to be able to be there on Sunday, so we made it a one-day event. So it's going to be a quick one for us. So. Uh, we're going to be down there, and then we're going to make the 12-hour drive back. And this poor woman right here is going to sit in the seat, as always, for 12 hours and uh, yes. not like it very much, maybe. But that's okay. Hey. That's okay. She's a trooper. She's going to make it through. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> so I'm going to flip. That's our lovely sink right there. I sink. Second sink. That's Oh, that is the second sink. There's, other, there's actually another sink back in the bathroom. So okay. we are in the luxury uh, suite here. <laughs> So, of course, we have a couch, and yeah. there is... I'm a couch. Yeah, it, no, you're not the couch. <laughs> that came out completely wrong. I just have to be clear here. Okay, I'm smart ass. No, <laughs> that's Kristen. Kristen saying hi. Um, she still has her sunglasses on. It's late at night, but for some reason, she still has her sunglasses, and that's okay. Because I've been driving all day. She, she wears her sunglasses at night, so, so she can, can. So she so can. can. Yeah. <laughs> you all know that one. You all got it. So, anyway... <laughs> No, notice all the caffeine in front of us as well as we yeah. go around the room here. 
Yeah. Just wanted to real quick yeah. say happy birthday to my mommy. Mommy, happy. saying thank you for letting me leave today on your birthday. Yay! I love you. <laughs> happy birthday, Christmas, mom. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And then we're going to move right from here to, uh, I'm going to get a headshot with the picture up here. <laughs> Show the, the art room. <laughs> I want to get, this looks very artistic because Jay Chante only does things the classiest way. So I want to make sure that we can get the picture behind her. She's got nothing to say. All right, I see. Happy birthday, Carol. Oh, see, that's sweet. That was a nice thing to do. Okay, so artwork, Jay Chante. And Dina. Oh, we're going to Dina here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my phone is just going up really high right yeah. now. I don't know why. That's okay. Hello, lovely Dina. Hi. She's Hi. also been stuck in the car with Chris <laughs> this entire drive. Notice how, <laughs> notice how, I just want to show, see her face? And then see her face. Notice the tired look on both of their faces? Yes. That, I slept in the car almost the entire time, yeah. so. Oh, but, okay. But she also had to listen to my annoying ranting the entire time, so that's why she looked so tired. Even in her sleep, she's like, no, no more, Chris, no. I can't, I can't listen to any more of your ideas. You guys, we have some great things coming up. I know Chris is going to be busy a lot in October and November, but uh, stay tuned, and we're going to have more investigations coming up, and the team is going to share some of our, yeah. some of our fun stories that we've... Are we okay with it? I'm trying to get everybody in the picture. Oh, so the other thing <laughs> yeah, that's is good right there. There, stay there. To really pay attention, September 17th, we're going to do a investigation in GHU at the Molly Brown House. Yes. And we're going to have some really, really cool news to announce that day. Oh, it's not that special, guys. Yes, Don't pay any attention to it. It's not, <laughs> it's not like you need to tune in to find out the coolest news that's ever happened in Denver or anything. But you that's should right. probably try. <laughs> if you don't have anything going on and you like being somebody who actually keeps up with things, you know, no big deal, no big deal. So I'm going to flip this back around really quickly. No, I'm not. Oh, hi, Mom. How are you? Because somebody's... We, I actually, just to let everybody know how my life is here and all of our lives, um, I was trying to flip the camera, you know, where you do that on the top of your phone, but I have one of the people we're doing a private investigation for sending me quite a few texts trying to tell me about things that are happening at their location right now, and every time I go to hit that little flipper button, not going to happen. She's like, uh-uh, let me tell you another thing. And I'm like, uh-uh, don't tell me anything. And she's like, yes, I have to tell you stuff. And I'm like, I don't want to know. And that's kind of how that's happening. Now I have a chance, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. Oh, I was huge there for a second. Hi, I'm back. It's me again. Hi. It's a little tricky. No, Mom, it's not, it's not easy. It's all, it's the phone. It's not you. It's never, never. Wow, okay. So, anyway, guys, uh, we just wanted to, I know we're a little loopy and nutty. Oh, let's see. See you there. Oh, 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 oh. we will see you there. I think Molly Brown. We have Molly Brown House attendees that are, are actually going to come. And that's Jeanette. Hello, hello. So, yeah, we're, we're really excited about that event. We're excited about the event tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I promise we'll be more awake, I swear to you. Um, we got all this caffeine. We got to be. So uh, I will get my Starbucks in the morning. Starbucks. Yay. Send me free stuff, Starbucks. Yes, please, um, all of us. All, all of us. We all need the Starbucks. So. Yeah, please send that to us. But, um, yeah, guys, we are just, we're so excited. Mason House Inn, just really quickly, it's, we've been going there since 2005. That's my longest GHU location ever. And uh, the Hansons, the owners, are, are literally, they are family to me. Um, and, you know, they treat my mom, my dad, Dina, all, all, my daughter, all of us, they treat us just like family. And we, we really do consider them family. Um, and it's so interesting where it all started and, you know, they were very skeptical in the beginning and Chuck will tell you the story one day. If you guys ever come to the Mason house, it's hilarious. When I, I brought the first version of Frank's box there and that thing was just a gigantic monstrosaurus mess and, uh, brought it in. It was like midnight and we ended up in the parlor and he didn't even know if he was going to let me in. He talks about it in the forward of the book. He's like, should we let these crazy long hair people in and all that? So, um, you know, we went in the parlor and we started uh, uh, talking about different things. We started getting into to, uh, some history, I guess, that he had on his website, things like that that were very easy to, to get through. And uh, then the interesting thing was that uh, some information started coming through that nobody in the town knew. He was kind of the, or is the town historian. <laughs> hey, I'm back, sorry. We don't have a great connection, I apologize. Um, but yeah, so we, <laughs> we got out there 
and he started getting all this information. He had no idea how this information was coming through because he was convinced that I like had a partner or somebody hiding out in the bushes with a walkie talkie talking through this receiver and giving him information off the website. And then when he started getting really, you know, personal information, he and Joy, uh, they realized, hey, this thing's for real. It's actually, it's actually working out. So it's amazing when that kind of stuff happens. But anyway, I just wanted to, uh, to once again, thank everybody who's coming tomorrow. Thank everybody who watches our, our, uh, you know, Facebook live things that we keep doing and having a lot of fun with. And I've got some news for everybody who's watching right now uh, that has not been announced yet. We are actually going to, for the people who can't make it tomorrow, we're going to attempt, and I have to say attempt, because the internet is not the best at the Mason House Inn, but we're hoping that we can actually take you around on the investigation tomorrow. Um, and you should have a great time because this place is so active. I'm going to flip the camera. Kristen has something to say. Hold on a second. Okay, so if we can't get the Facebook Live going, we'll definitely try and do some videotaping and post it later. Um, I won't get reception for a Facebook Live when we're at a cemetery, but I will a get... A cemetery? Some... What are you doing a in a cemetery? cemetery? But I will get some video while we're out there and post that also at some point in the next couple days. So stay tuned. It should be some fun stuff. And there's my finger again, and I'm gigantic one more time. So, yeah, um, tomorrow night, I, you know, honestly, guys, I'm not specific on a time right now. we got to really think it out and decide when we're going on the ghost hunt tomorrow night. But, of course, um, all of our friends on Facebook are invited. You can come and actually participate in the ghost hunt tomorrow night. So not just sit and watch us and all that kind of stuff, but from your comments, uh, we can ask some questions over the box. We can ask questions on dowsing rods. Um, you know, meters, wh whatever we have, the ovalist, all those different things. We're going to give you an opportunity to talk to the spirits at the Mason House, and it's the place that I call my paranormal Disneyland because uh, it's just one of those places where everything that comes through there is positive, and uh, we have not had any really negative things ever happen there. Um, we deal with Civil War soldiers who've passed. We deal with, uh, it used to be an Underground Railroad location. Um, guys, I could tell you some crazy stories about this place. Ghost cats jumping on the bed in the middle of the night, uh, water turning on and off. And, you know, you, the, the spirits there are so respectful that Joy and Chuck actually call them uh, uh, the, uh, residents. I almost lost the name. The residents that, that live there. And uh, when they talk to them, that's how they address them. But when people want to have an experience there, the, the spirits are so respectful of um, the people who are staying that if you say something along the lines or one person in your party says, I don't want to have anything happen, you will not have anything happen. Everything will stop. Um, but if you are somebody who wants to have an experience and your group agrees on it and you say, I really want to have an experience, the spirits will call it a party. <laughs> and they'll say there's a party in your room. And uh, I can't tell you how many um, people have come back and told us, oh, my God, I had the most amazing thing happen. You know, something jumped on the bed in the middle of the night, the doors opened and closed, lights turned on and off, um, so on and so forth. It just goes on and on, but it's just a great place. So, once again, looking forward to getting out there. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and at some point tomorrow just kind of keep an eye on this page, keep an eye on my page, keep an eye on all the different pages that are out there, and we'll give you a time that we're going to try to do the ghost hunt. Again, I have to give the, uh, uh, I guess, warning that uh, the Internet is not super awesome there, but um, we, are, we are hoping that we can get a lot of footage out of there. And like Kristen said, she's going to do some filming up at the cemetery. You guys didn't even know that you were going to the cemetery, but you are. Surprise. So um, we'll be able to post that up on um, the pages, and, and you guys can check it out. So from all of us here at the Ghost Box Paranormal Society, sitting here in Council Bluffs, I got it right, Council Bluffs, uh, Quality Inn, Quality Inn, uh, and Starbucks, it's star yeah, and, Starbucks. And, and Starbucks in the morning. So <laughs> we will see you guys either virtually or really tomorrow. Thanks a lot. I'm going to let everybody say goodbye. That's me Bye. saying goodbye. This. Oh, good night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Happy birthday, Carol. See ya. <laughs>